it's time for us to delve into our interview for today. Today, I am going to be chatting with an author I have a lot of respect for. Um, she is one person who's, who's, who's writing skills, who's pen or who's keyboard, or however, however I want to put it this time, um, does a lot of, of, of great things in the lives of people. Like I said before, I love to celebrate people while every time I can. I mean, she will testify on me. I don't, I don't hold my compliments. I lavish it as much as I possibly can. You are showing yourself. See my answer. Yes. <laughs> we litter the old studio with the books. Okay, so guys, let's delve straight into it because we don't have so much time. For some of you guys, you don't know how amazing and developed the nigerian writing space is you believe that um if you want to get any good book any good fiction non-fiction book it has to be from the obodoin but you're wrong because we have a lot of nigerian authors who are doing magic and i say this um not as somebody who has heard but as somebody who has read ladies and gentlemen please let's welcome to the praise o'clock show for the second time right yes. for the second time um author of the oh no before i even get to that author of he plenty of perfect love an emotional affair he cheated the church girl that's a classic guys broken a small world three weddings and a funeral the house girl many books i didn't know you had that much books actually <laughs> a lot <laughs> guys please welcome to the show you feel my happy Woo-hoo! to be here i'm so happy to be here thanks for having me such a pleasure see there's a whole you know we can chat for one hour i bet you we can i know we can on this book more than <laughs> we need a day a whole day <laughs> so we will uh, let's just get straight into it so this is your latest book it's a trilogy yeah um the naive wife rachel's choice rachel's diary rachel's hope first i'm curious why did you choose to you know what let me paraphrase when you started writing this book Mm -hmm. did you know it was going to end the way it ended no aha tell me about that (laughs) (laughs) um i I had a concept in mind. That's how I usually start my stories. Um, I know the general area I'm going to, but as the story hap- uh, develops, you know, the characters take me in different journeys. So at the end of the day, I really don't know where I'm going. I just know that I have to be guided by God with, with what's happening. Like all t- At the end of the day, we have to see the glory of God come through so it's not like you start off writing a book knowing like this is the full story the start to finish no no, are you serious okay so does the story ever take you to a point where you're like no i'm not going there do you fight with the story sometimes yes i fight with my characters they fight with me (laughs) (laughs) because i okay there are times i feel like i need to write an outline so that i'm not just floating aimlessly so like with uh, Rachel's diary, after I finished Rachel's uh, hope, I wrote uh, Rachel's uh, choice. I wrote uh, an outline for Rachel's diary. I knew, okay, okay, this is how it's going to go. And it seemed interesting enough. I didn't know about Ra- the last one. In fact, I thought I'll call it Rachel's transformation. Uh, you know, it was, was, ap- it was after I wrote Rachel's diary that I knew it was going to be Rachel's hope. Ah. Really. Yeah, because of what happened in Rachel's diary. Um, so... As I was writing Rachel's diary, I had an idea of how it would end and things that would happen. But some of my characters were like, nah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, so and and so this is how it happens. It's not like I, I know what they're going to say. I just write as I'm led, you know, and they're having conversations and then a character will just say something. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> okay <laughs> so we're going this way now <laughs> so it kind of happens like that <laughs> it's really interesting hearing from the author's um, a point of view because we when we read these books we don't even think about this this um hustle this tussle that goes on between the, the author yes. and the characters yeah so on starting the naive wife right d- did you set out to want to have a trilogy or do you think you could have made this entire trilogy this entire series one book <sighs> like the church girl it could have been one book in fact the church girl had two parts um but i released them together um it could have been one book i actually wanted to write one book i had a title when the mask falls off it was the idea of the story but and i was writing it for competition 
but the deadline was drawing nearer the story was getting deeper and there was like oh my god there's so much here and i felt like if i try to finish it quickly so uh it would just not do justice to the story so i had to break it apart it's okay i'll just submit this part and then i'll work on the other rest and do it into um i'll do two more books you know and one will focus on her life and marriage and then the other will deal with like you know what happens afterwards not necessarily afterwards like how she deals with the challenges right okay so l- let's do something for those who have not read the book at all and they are probably wondering like okay this sounds like uh <laughs> something fun you see some people here in the studio already have uh an idea because we had a chat about it earlier on okay so as the author of this book and this task i want to give you is going to be a very hard one uh because i want you to to just tell us what the naive wife story is about in the shortest possible way okay the naive wife is a story about a girl or a lady in her 30s called rachel who is like a typical uh single girl in her 30s in nigeria who wants to live happily ever after but hasn't found her partner you know and she's a christian she believes in god and um she wants most of all to be guided by him um she's made mistakes in the past she doesn't want to make mistake in her marriage so you know she knows he has to be a christian he has to be this he has to be that so she knows what she's looking for you know and she's also um she talks about it on her on a radio show she counsels other people you know she feels quite confident that she's gonna find mr right you know and she just follows the way that she's going and she's prayed about it so sure it's gonna happen um so on the um introduction of her sister on her sister's introduction marriage introduction she meets two guys uh, one of them is the brother of the groom and the other is a friend of the brother of the groom and um both of them are interested in her but only one of them really states his claim early you know and the race begins and uh Rachel is conflicted she she actually puts one aside because like no obviously he has a reputation he's not christian he can't be the one and the other one you know practically you know he listens to a show he knows exactly what she likes you know he basically just comes ready you know puts all everything down and she has to make a choice yeah so um she makes her choice based on her prayer and what she has perceived you know and um but the other things going on that she doesn't add to the equation you know she doesn't take in all the facts you know she gets carried away by her emotions and so we we see her getting married and she's afterwards thinking what the hell have i done <laughs> um so Rachel's diary we look at um we look at her life in marriage and her trying to live up to the things she's been talking about as she you know this is what marriage is supposed to be but you know my marriage is not kind of looking like that but I'm going to try you know and yeah different things happen along the way she's pregnant motherhood you know life everything just comes to a head <laughs> wow. and then the the hope <laughs> You know, we won't give the spoilers for that. No, yeah. But I give, uh, but, but for hope, right? Which is the latest one uh, to conclude the trilogy. Yes. That's where the whole story ends, right? Yeah. So That's where the pieces come together. Yeah. Um that's where she finds her peace. You know, and that's where we see uh, happy endings for other people in her life, thank God. And we see God's hand at work. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently uh the naive wife in choices ended the the story ended with her not being naive anymore if it's safe to say Oh at the end of yeah. Rachel's hope Yeah uh, <laughs> she dies at open she <laughs> The babe don't stop pop. Her eyes Life. open in night in the diary. Like what? Life had taught her like, yo, I cannot be naive in this life. Uh, it, it's a really, really beautiful, beautiful stuff. I particularly love the fact that in the book, um, 
beyond what you just talked about right now, which could seem a bit simple, guys, inside this book, you can get like business ideas. I mean, I don't steal my ideas. <laughs> we, see, when I was reading uh, um, ch- uh, Choice, when I, re- when I was reading the first one, Rachel's Choice, when she starts to talk about what she intends to do after leaving the radio. Oh no, that's Rachel's diary you're talking about when I read Rachel's diary because she was she wasn't she, thinking about leaving the radio. Rachel's choice. Choice. All right. See, all everything's all she jumbled was just in about my head. Get married. Ah, so right. Rachel's diary that she was in diary. About moving on. I'm like, this is such a great business idea, though. <laughs> you know, and then it pulls through, and then the so that's just one of many areas. You, you in fact, I love the the music. Uh, the playlist of different songs in that some people in uh, some Gen Z might not be able to relate to some songs that she made <laughs> reference to but there are songs uh, Christian songs non-Christian songs love songs and all of that so there's music uh, there's in fact in hope mm-hmm. I wish I had had it I wish I had more music more music right yeah. <laughs> it's just I was just telling the story and I couldn't just plan for music but yeah. I, I, I loved it but there was still music in this <laughs> yeah, I mean some was. some shadi I do <laughs> so yeah so so in 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 the naive wife we have um uh, where was I even going to with this music uh uh-huh no I've left music so in this one you you bring you bring the the covid situation of 2020 to yes. bear in yes. this we have uh, to be real. Yeah, very real. And it, it touches on a lot. So um, uh, tell us a little bit about this journey because I'm like, only one writer can all have all this sense now. So <laughs> You want me to talk about the last some, book? Did you do some, some, some consultations and some study and research along this process? Oh, yes, I had to. Do you know what? Yeah, for the last chapter with um, the happily end happy ending i wanted something great i wanted to say that one of the characters invented something to cure covid ah. you know so i wrote it out like okay this is what he did and then i went on google to search for if that thing had existed and like since 2020 they had already started talking about it and a lot of people had already developed the same thing and i'm like oh god wow. <laughs> so i you know so there were things I was going back and forth. Okay, so what how, what can I think about that would be unique, you know? But everything I thought about says somebody has done it. Someone else thought about it. I'm like, ah, just <laughs> <laughs> take that from your mind. <laughs> Do something else. So this, yeah, <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Like I said, guys, we can actually go a full hour talking about this. Um, and still not giving spoilers mm. then imagine if we want to give spoilers then we can go like two uh, full days talking uh-huh. about mm-hmm. the lessons from this book but before i let you go uh we're going to talk about how people can get the book but just before that what would you say is that one thing or two things the major things you want the readers of this book to to take home from this okay one of the things i want that i hope people see from this is that marriage is not a small decision marriage is a really big decision about your life that you don't need to be rushing to enter into you don't need to be um cutting your decision making process short you know you should not be worried that oh you, this one might get away if i if i make the if i say no you should be worried about if what if i say yes and i throw my life away inside this situation you know and but i don't want you to be worried so i don't mean it like that mm-hmm. but you know as much as you are praying to hear from god you know we sometimes we deny the ways god talks to us you know there are also circumstances there's uh there's um the bible they're they're the leaders other people what he says through people you know and even dreams and our um you know so sometimes people think that what we want must not be what god wants and and i think we're judging god by that expectation that god wouldn't give us what we want you know so i think even what we want we put that on the table too Mm. and let that be part of our decision making process we don't need to say oh i can't go for this because you know my oh it's definitely not what god wants don't assume what god wants put it out there you know so um, (laughs) it's getting long but i just really want people to know that it's a really big decision that they should not rush into and it's going to affect their lives seriously and it's better to be sure than to enter in with doubts or fear 
you know mm-hmm. don't it's not do or die you know the truth is according to the bible you know it's better not to marry that's the truth is right there it's written in the scriptures i think you know. paul said that yeah uh, paul said that and the disciples said that to jesus so if this is the case for men then it's better not to marry and jesus said not everyone can accept it you know but some and but if you can accept it accept it do you understand but uh, some of us are like oh not for me or oh, god forbid <laughs> no we don't have to be like that you know the single life is not a curse it's also a gift you know paul talked about the gift of being single you know so we have to what we want to do when we live this world is to fulfill our purpose and not all of not all of us are going to fulfill that purpose inside of a marriage do you understand we just have to know exactly who we are who we are what we're supposed to achieve and find be content in our condition paul was so right whatever condi- condition we find ourselves in we should be content and then when we f- when we meet that person when we're in purpose the person we're supposed to be with we're going to meet them along that way and they're going to be in christ and it will just be natural for us to come together it's not going to be anything you force it's not going to be anything that other people forced you into mm. do you understand it's going to be you're going to know that it's God's will because you're already walking with God and that person should be walking with God. So we just connect. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So um, we just need to not use our heads only or our hearts only, but our soul in this decision that we're making because, and that's how we worship God. You know, it's not just with mind. It's not just with body or with hearts. It's, everything all of our soul we use to worship god and i think in that decision when we make decisions to marry as well we should not just focus on one aspect wow that's good stuff and guys i can assure you of this one fact that what she shared is just a tiny 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 teeny little bit of all the lessons you can possibly get from these books it's loaded loaded stuff so um finally time is really far gone how can people get these books all right um the shortest way is to follow my um, bio link on Instagram. I am at Ufoma EE, U F U O M A E E. So if you follow me on Instagram and you follow my bio link, it will take you to a link where you can see Get the Naive Wife trilogy. And when you click that link, you'll be able to get it as an ebook, paperback, on Amazon, Kobo Books, Apple, Okada Books, Okada Books, Bam Books yeah. all the links you need accessible right by that link um i sell the books on my website um they're also available nationwide uh courtesy of a uh, macquarie um part of a uh, masobe books so you can get them if you're in potakot or if you're in abuja or you know other major cities in nigeria and if you need them in your locality and it's not there just send me a message let and, us know. and let us know where you need it you know like i said you can always order from my website too i deliver all over nigeria that's it guys rachel's choice proposal <laughs> rachel's diary how is going <laughs> Richard's hope how it ended <laughs> go get it I, I i totally recommend you get that i i've read it and it's, it's it's so good thank you so much for stopping by at the praise world radio studios yet again it's been so nice chatting with you thanks for this privilege i'm grateful pleasure is ours <laughs> so how it is is the praise o'clock show 10 a.m west african time every monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday every weekday right here on praiseworldradio.com we have all the very best of news gist music and so much fun all right so make sure you catch us every weekday follow us on social media twitter instagram at praiseworld underscore and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel on youtube praiseworld tv oh it's time it's praise o'clock i'll see you